Today, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to do every survivor movement tech in Dead by Daylight. Starting us off, we have the most common movement tech, the Moonwalk. When learning to do this tech, it can be difficult at first, but it's not hard to catch on to. Do a 360 by pressing W, A, S, N, D in succession so your character is facing you. Then hold W and alternate between pressing A and D rapidly at the same pace. It's a bit tricky to get the timing, but once you have it, it gets a lot easier. You can do this tech the opposite way by cutting out the 360 and just holding S while pressing A and D. There isn't much use for this tech, aside from the fact that it's fun. Next, we have the 360, otherwise known as Spin, the most fun tech in my opinion. In order to 360, while running, press W, D, S, then A while moving your mouse from right to left. To 360 the other way, press your keys in the order W, A, S, and D while moving your mouse from left to right. The best use of this tech is when you can't make it to a window or a pallet and the killer is close by. There's variations of this tech. You can slow down a bit on the inputs for a smoother, cleaner spin, or you can speed up the inputs for what's called a flick spin. As well as against experienced killers, you can move side to side like you might spin and bait out an early swing from the killer expecting a quick 360. This is called a fake spin. Up next, another one of my favorites is the corner tech. This tech has two variations, one to try and hide from the killer, and one to attempt to juke the killer. The immersed variation involves shack most times, but it can be executed in other places as well. When being chased by the killer, you turn a corner and crouch on the corner, usually in the direction from where you were being chased, and hope the killer doesn't notice and fully commits into the building so you can sneak out behind it. The other variation involves turning any sharp corner and combining what you learned earlier and now to moonwalk back around the corner at the exact time the killer turns the corner. If done correctly, you'll sneak right by the killer, leaving him wondering what just happened, or hopefully at least baiting a missed swing. Another tech similar to the moonwalk is the Aaron tech. I originally wasn't going to do this segment because I don't know how to Aaron tech that well, but change of plans, here we go. From my understanding, to Aaron tech, hold D while moving your mouse from left to right to look right, then hold A while moving your mouse the opposite way. As soon as you switch between D and A, start holding S in the process. In order to do this tech using W, just reverse the inputs. I don't know, it's one of those things where you just kind of, you kind of get in the rhythm of it. Once you learn it, it's such free. Now, going into a tech not many people know about, we have the Keck tech. The Keck tech can be pretty difficult to pull off, but it's worth it every time it works. A Keck tech is performed when the killer vaults a window and you run directly at them from the front, vaulting as soon as the killer's animation is done, phasing through them and safely fast vaulting to the other side. The timing on this tech can be pretty tricky and it isn't usually consistent, but it is possible with practice. Following that, we have the window tech, which is similar to the Keck tech. While the killer is vaulting a window, run at the window, hugging the wall closely, and just like the Keck tech, vault the window as soon as the killer's animation is finished. Another variation of this tech can be performed using a key with aura reading add-ons, a map, or the perk clairvoyance. Run at the killer while the killer is vaulting, activate the perk or item, and phase right through them to the other side of the window. The killer has no way of seeing this happen, so unless you've done it before, they'll go in the direction they saw you run when they started the vaulting animation. Be careful though, because good killers will catch on. Another commonly known tech is the dumb tech. After stunning a killer with a pallet, fast vault instantly. You'll have just enough time to get out of the way before the killer recovers. Most times, an inexperienced killer will swing and miss, thinking they have enough time to catch you. Be careful though, as any killer running enduring can grab you off the pallet before you finish vaulting. Some experienced killers won't swing, and will turn around to catch you off guard. You can counter this by crouching right after you vault as you won't have a collision with the killer and you can sneakily vault back over the pallet while the killer looks for you. Now we have something a bit infamous in the community, the CJ tech. The most common variation of this tech involves a pallet. When you have a survivor downed on a pallet with the killer nearby, if you're able to stun the killer with the pallet, pushing the survivor to the side of the pallet that has the killer on it, you can fast vault the pallet and remove the killer's option to break the pallet. If the killer doesn't notice this and still tries to kick the pallet, it'll pick up the downed survivor. If you vault in succession after your first one, you'll be able to blind the killer and save your downed teammate with a well-timed flashlight save. The other variations are a bit harder to pull off, the window CJ being the most difficult. When you have a downed survivor in front of a locker or a window, you can get in the locker, baiting the killer to grab you out. 
If you jump out at the perfect time, you can force the killer to pick up, getting yourself an easy flashlight save. Alternatively, if the downed survivor is in front of a window, you can vault the window before the killer gets the chance to, and of course, force the killer to pick up once more for a free flashlight save. That variation can be dangerous though, because it's the easiest to counter. Next, we have a tech for more experienced survivors, the shift tech. The shift tech is used to abuse more than three window vaults at shack. While running the killer at shack, when turning a corner and breaking line of sight, take your finger off shift for a short while to break chase. Since you won't be in chase, you can get an extra window vault in for every time you execute this tech. The reason this works is because if you're not holding shift to run or whatever button or key you use, if the killer can't see you, it'll break out of the chase, therefore bypassing the three vaults to chase rule. It can be risky though, so make sure you're aware of the killer's distance to you. Another common tech is the window or pallet fake. This is a super simple tech that can fool killers at any level. If you don't think you have enough distance from the killer to vault a window or pallet safely, you can run into the window or pallet briefly without vaulting, then keep running. If executed correctly, this can fool most killers, but most likely won't work too many times on the same killer. Finally, for the standard techs, we have the FOV tech. This is usually used after a successful spin or while the killer is breaking a pallet. In order to FOV tech, you gotta know how the killer's field of view works. To execute this tech, you run to the left or right of the killer right up against them, then stop and crouch. On the killer's screen it looks like you ran right past them, usually baiting out a swing, even though it seems like they should be able to see you. This tech works best when the killer is locked in an animation and can't look around for a few seconds. Now, we have a few bonus techs as well as some techs that can be comboed together. For the first tech combo, we have a moonwalk with a 360. While moonwalking, if the killer is coming towards you, you can chain your moonwalk into a 360 spin to throw off the killer and hopefully cause a missed swing so you can create distance. The next tech combo is a corner tech second variation with a 360. If the killer does notice you moonwalking around the corner, you can attempt to spin through his path and again, hope to make distance from a missed swing. The final tech, being a killer specific tech, is the crouch tech. If you crouch on the non-pallet doorway of Shaq, a blight rushing or a billy chainsaw won't be able to hit you, giving you enough time to run while they recover. Alternatively, crouching against Nemesis's whip can somehow cause it to miss, but that's a lot more inconsistent, but it can be helpful to keep in mind. And that was every movement tech in Dead by Daylight. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing as it does help me out a lot. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite tech was. If I missed any, let me know and maybe I'll make a part two. And as always, I'll see you next week. Good night and peace.